What's up, everybody? It is day three of my juice fast. You are looking at three apples cut, three oranges peeled, and one lemon. Now, this is normally my morning or... Um, you know, first thing of the day, pick me up or energizer. But I started my morning with a salt water flush, which is kind of like a liquid colonic. I'll tell you about my experience with that in a second. But um, this is, I need to come up with a name for it because I love juicing this particular combination. It's so simple, yet it's so delicious. Okay, let's get it cracking. Hey, I don't have a top of the line juicer, but I got a juicer. Okay, wait. Hold on, hold on, see. And this is the Jack LaLanne Deluxe Power Juicer. I'm looking at getting more of a um, a cold press. Uh-oh, Lord have mercy. I should have had that there in the first place. Uh, I'm looking at getting more of a cold press juicer. Come on, buddy. Yeah! Some good old apples to get it cracking. Okay. But like I was saying, I'm looking at getting a cold press juicer because I think it saves more of the fruit or whatever. But um, for right now, this is good, you know what I mean? And uh, I get to have some fun with my juicing. Yay! Get some oranges in there. When I tell you this is so tasty, oh my goodness, I mean it. Okay, so you see what's going on. I'm getting ready to finish this up and then I'm going to say hello in a second to you guys. I hope your day is going great. Talk soon. Okay, what's up folks? How are you? <laughs> Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. That's what it is. Okay, we're adjusted. <sighs> so, third day of the juice fast. I just showed you what I juiced. This is my lovely love right here. So good. So good. Um, earlier today, normally I like to start off with this juice in the morning. But uh, I did a salt water flush, which is something that I learned about, I think, via the Master Cleanse, which is uh, another name for the lemonade diet, or I should say it the other way around. But basically, you do um, a tablespoon of untreated salt. You put it in about 32 ounces of lukewarm water. You take it down within at least five minutes, and it performs a flush of the colon. And supposedly... Uh, Unlike the enema or colonic, which deals more with the large colon, uh, this goes through the small intestine and the large colon, too. I don't know. We're going to check that out. But I think that's what um, I've learned about it. And so it can be possibly even more effective as far as a flush is concerned for your body. Now, normally, this works out perfectly for me. I'll take my, you know, um, one tablespoon of salt, sea salt, um, put it in the water, drink it in about an hour, I'm flushing, okay? But today, I decided to try something different. I have this black lava salt, which is something that I also soak with in a bath. I'll put some in there and just kind of soak uh, my body, pull some toxins, just use it as an opportunity to meditate um, in, a, in a bath. But today, I decided to do a tablespoon of that in my 32 ounces, and I didn't quite get the flush I was anticipating. So I'm not sure if I didn't use the right salt or what, you know, I don't know if there's a different consistency with the sea salt in particular in comparison to the black lava salt or if I'm about to walk out the door right now and be in trouble. So we will see. I'll let you know on day five how my salt water flush panned out for today. But under normal circumstances, I do take um, sea salt. And I put that in 32 ounces of lukewarm water. You try, you take it down within at least five minutes. Today, I took that puppy down in a minute. In a minute. So I was like, where's my flush? But I do think it might be still working because I haven't had to urinate a lot. So it must be still in there doing its thing. And the reason that it goes to the colon is because it's, uh, as someone else described it, the same gravity as the blood. So it bypasses the kidneys and goes in there and does what it needs to do. So it shouldn't be in the actual system being absorbed by the blood is just passing through and going straight to the colon. That's why it's good for the flush. Okay, so that's what I did this morning. This is my juice that I have now. And um, like I said, that was... Ah! Hello. Are y'all still here? Uh. Ah. Now we done went the other direction. Hold on. 
Okay, you know what? Authenticity in the joint. Okay, I'll, I'll see if that looks a hot mess. I'm going to have to cut it. Okay, anyway, um, the recipe for the juice before I get out of here. Three apples, three juicing oranges, three small juicing oranges, and one organic lemon. All of the fruits were organic. And I was thinking about that as I was juicing that I wanted to mention. If you can, be sure to get organic produce because with the introduction of GMOs to our environment, we don't know what we're getting anymore. And, you know, they say that it's a way to, you know, help us to produce food uh, in, in tougher climates where we normally wouldn't have the food and, you know, produce uh, more food for the supply and demand type thing, you know, more people, more food. But these seeds, these, these um, things that they're making in a building, you know, this is what our produce is coming from. I mean, it's not only, you know, animal products, it's, it's bacteria and it's uh, fruits and vegetables. So you're not even getting things from nature, from earth, the energy in the earth coming into your fruits and vegetables. They are starting to produce things in a laboratory. Now it looks like an apple, tastes like an apple maybe, but because um, I've, I've heard that we've gotten so far away from even the, the, the organic and natural flavors of a lot of our vegetables and fruits because of the way they've been produced, uh, sometimes even out of season, can change that. But on top of it, things like this, GMOs, you know, you're getting away from the sweetness of a tomato. Um, somebody used to tell me that tomatoes used to be so sweet. And I'm like, really? You know, I've tasted some, but not like the way they were describing, almost like, you know, reminiscent of, you know, an apple. I was like, whoa. So um, we could really be getting away from, you know, our natural flavors and, of course, away from the organic and natural nutrition from the earth. So when they go through the organic sa sanctions, for fruits and vegetables, that's how you know that they are not able to be GMOs, at least we hope, okay? Because we don't have our hands on it personally. But at least they're saying that if you buy your foods organic, then they cannot be made from GMOs. So just um, trying to put you up on a little game right there because there's some interesting stuff going on out there. They are crossbreeding organisms. They did a, a fish tomato experiment. I mean, just com combining all kinds of stuff. And, you know, I'm writing my next book, which is <clears throat> to help us learn how to eat healthy on a budget. Um, I I'm finding out all this information and I'm like, whoa, it's a lot going on with our food. And if we are what we eat, we've got to pay attention to that. I mean, this is what is giving us our fuel. This is what is enabling us to see what we need to see, to hear what we need to hear, to receive the divine insight, if you're asking for it, that you want to receive. So it's so important that we pay attention to that stuff. So, all right, day three of my juice fast. So far, so good. Uh, I got over my hump day. Day two is usually kind of my hump day, I find, you know, when my body's like, you ain't eating. I woke up yesterday with a muffin on my mind. Okay. I got to I remember waking up, literally waking up and be like, Oh, I'm gonna get a muffin. And I was like, no, I'm on a fast. <laughs> so, you know, but I, as long as I keep some juice near me, I've been all right. You get those nutrients in your body, it takes them in, and you're okay. I've been drinking a lot more water on this particular fast. I'm happy about that. So it's been going cool. I will keep you posted about how things are going. And until then, holla at your girl.